Welcome to Spitfire Mods. Today we'd like to go over the um, removal of the heat spreader uh, on the RSX chip. A uh, number of things to cover. Um, some of the different items you will need to get started is some, some Q-tips. Uh, good to have a, a, a fine point scraper. It may come in handy, not, not required. Uh, a regular scraper, scraping tool uh, you will need. Um, and a chisel. Uh, you'll also need some remover to get the, uh, the adhesive off underneath. Um, we're going to be covering removal of the heat spreader and then the reapplication of the heat spreader uh, which requires a number of different things. <coughs> so we'll be using a um, a cheap thermal paste because we're not going to be actually reusing this board and then um, you'll also need some different uh, well you'll need one of these but um, one is just a piece of a bedspread cut into pieces the other would be gauze and the other would be like a bandage wrap these are actually to keep the uh, remover on the in contact with the surface and then a piece of aluminum foil or plastic sheathing or plastic bag or something like that to keep the uh, fumes and the um, the adhesive remover from evaporating too quickly and not doing its job. So the first thing we'd like to cover is what is the easiest way to remove the heat spreader from the GPU? And the best answer for that is uh, you want a tool that's going to maximize your contact with the surface of the chip against the spreader itself. And by doing that, uh, getting as much area, you're going to have a lower PSI, uh, which is pressure, on the surface which is going to minimize your damage. So again, you're looking for a nice wide object that's going to fit. There's memory chips on both sides, so something that will fit in between. It's nice and wide and uh, and has a very flat even edge on it. So this is a this is a chisel. Um, this chisel happens to be approximately um approximately 13 millimeters. So it's a 13 millimeter chisel. I would say anything 13 to 17 is probably going to fit, but we're going to take a look um, afterwards. Now, when removing the RSX cap, you're going to be going on the side that's facing the cell BE chip. So this is the RSX, and then this is the cell BE, and you want to be on this side of the RSX. So you're going to insert your tool right here, and then you're just going to lift. And then that's it. Now, when you look, you should see very minimal disruption to the uh, to the chip. There's just a light surface scratch right here and right there. So um, it's only on the surface. There's no uh, no depth to it, and should be no contact with any any metal traces. And that's what you want. You want to be able to remove that without damaging the chip. And um, that's a pretty easy way to get it off. I have a couple other boards we're going to give you an example. Now, <clears throat> we have to keep in mind that Spitfire Mods does not recommend removal of the, of the heat spreader at all. Um, but we've had numerous customers call in and ask about it. And they wanted to do it. So... So we're going to take off a couple chips here, <clears throat> just to give you some more examples. <laughs> we're going to try another trick here. One is inserting a, inserting cardstock underneath the uh, underneath the chisel or something to protect the uh, board a little bit. I'm going to find something the right length, the right width. So if you're concerned with damage of the chip, you can slide a little something in there to go between the, uh, the chisel and the board. And then pop 
that off. Um, this one had some flux on the edge. Somebody overdid the flux on this one. These are scrap boards that came in from customers and we didn't even bother to repair them because they were too screwed up. <coughs> so again, we don't necessarily recommend you uh, to remove these, but if you want to, this is the way you would want to do it. Now the, the distance between the two contact points is 17 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of paper that's exactly the right width here. Piece of card stock. Let's see how that works for removal. I'm slide that in there until it hits the GPU chip. Now I'm going to insert the chisel. the best one when you um all right so there we have basically no damage at all to the chip and um that surface is actually a really hard surface on the inside so if you bang against that that's the spot you want to bang if you're gonna 